get some pancakes on the old <laughs> Many came for the pancake breakfast, but all Center County residents got the chance to learn about the maple sugaring process at Schaefer's Creek 28th Annual Maple Harvest Festival. This is the only place in the world where sugar maple trees grow. And so all over the Northeast, people have maple sugaring festivals to celebrate the idea of making maple syrup and that it's something unique to this part of the country. At the two-day festival, attendees got to see the discovery of maple syrup in colonial times. And that, my friends, is how Wax discovered maple how syrup. How Wax's wife discovered maple syrup. And how it is made today. The maple syrup industry is a $2 million industry in Pennsylvania, making it vital to the state and to the community. It's, it's important for people to know about maple syrup, not only because it's really good, but um, many children and even adults don't always understand that the syrup that they buy from the store comes from a tree and is part of people's livelihood. And on average, one of these maple trees can produce 10 to 20 gallons of sap per season. However, when that sap is boiled down, it only equals out to being a little over five cups of maple syrup for the entire season. One student worker says the festival is perfect for families with activities such as rock climbing, discovery centers, entertainment, and various bird shows. You know, most kids are into like video games and TV, but you know, they get to experience the outdoors. The trees mostly all look like this, and you're like, well, what tree is this? Nick ran a station to teach people how to identify maple sugar trees from other trees. Throughout the weekend, people of all ages found something they enjoyed at the festival. Well, I'm an engineer, so I like the, the different taps that they had and just seeing how that changed and the, how the process has evolved to have, have less impact on the trees. It's fun and you learn a lot, and you get to walk around. In the end, volunteers and workers aim to inspire Center County residents to enjoy the outdoors that is right in their backyard. Reporting from Schaefer's Creek in Petersburg, I'm Danielle Van Geem.